Hello, my beautiful, beautiful NARC Free family. My name is Cree. Thank you for joining me here today. I'm going to see if I can love on y'all just a little bit today because some of y'all need some motivation, okay? And I'm going to try to help you shift the way that you're thinking about things because that is how you win. When you've been in a relationship with a narcissist, it's all in how you're looking at it. You know how you hear that thing about um, if you're looking at a glass, is it half empty or is it half full? That's how it is. It's how you're looking in it, how you're looking at it is what is either going to make you or break you. So what I wanted to share with y'all is that there is something that happens when you shift your focus off of the narcissist and you put it onto you. You tap into who you are. Especially those of you who have to go to court with a narcissist. I want you to remember that I said this. I want you to, to put this on repeat in your head. Allow me to reintroduce myself. See, when you have to do anything with a narcissist, you have to be in a room with them, you have to uh, go to court against them, these kinds of things, they are coming with that same toxic cockroach-like energy, that same bottom feeder energy that they always come with trying to trigger you, trying to, um, trying to get a reaction out of you. But when you change your mind about who they are and you see them for who they really are, not the person that you fell in love with, but the person who they really are and you see them for who and what they really are it's not as hard to get out of that mindset of oh i'm in love with this person now some of y'all haven't had a narcissist come after you very hard so maybe you still have uh some deep-seated um uh, feelings for them and you you know you have the trauma bond and all of that obviously and um and I'm not invalidating those things because those things are true. But for those of us who have had a narcissist come for our kids, you, you don't see anybody who comes for your kids and who's traumatizing you and using your children to traumatize you and um, playing all these games as it affects your kids. It's real easy to remove yourself from the way you used to view them and viewing them for what and who they really are, okay? And I know some of y'all will help me with that in the comments and agree to agree with that statement so what i wanted to say to you is that what you're saying to a narcissist when you don't react to the abuse and it's not that you're not reacting because it's not painful it's that you're not reacting because you're saying without saying allow me to reintroduce myself i am not in the same place where you left me I grew. You're saying without saying, when you don't react to the abuse and you don't get triggered, you're saying to them, because they pay attention to everything, all right? Everything. When you won't look them in their eyes, when you won't speak to them because you are protecting your peace, and I'm going to say again, especially for those of you who have to go to court with a narcissist because they are going to try to trigger you and try to get you to act out of character by lying on you and things. Remain calm. Let them meet the new you. The you that is untampered with by them. Because when they are trying to put you in this little box or this little cage and they're trying to control everything, they may have manufactured some amount of control over you. But if you're no longer with them, you should have taken the time to start, um, I want to say growing up, but, but it kind of is growing up, growing up into who you're supposed to be. I have a, a couple of minutes and I'm going to have to go. Um, so I'm going to keep looking at my, my watch so I'm not late. So you're growing into who, who you're supposed to be, okay? And as you're growing, you're changing and you're, you're shifting and you're no longer seeing them the same way. And now they need to meet the new you. And the new you comes with a different kind of energy. You come with the energy of greatness. Oh, because see, without that narcissist, you could be great. Some of y'all are have slept in your car. Some of you got to look up uh, shelters because you've been homeless. Uh, some of y'all are sleeping on the floor at somebody else's place. Or you had to move in with your kids. All kinds of different things because of the way they're coming after you, the way that they're moving, okay? And, and you're feeling down. 
I remember having to having to tell myself to get up and I didn't say it in a nice way because if I had told myself to get up in a nice way I probably would have stayed laying where I was laying I had to tell myself in the way that would get me up so some of y'all have to get yourself up in the morning just to keep going because of what the narcissist is doing but you're gonna get up because you're going to reintroduce yourself to the narcissist in the energy of greatness because see they already know that you're great that's why they chose you they already know who you are the person who don't know who you are is you so when you walk into a room with a narcissist know that they know exactly who you are it's you that didn't know who you are who you were and who you are but I'm telling you who you are you are greatness you are gifted you are talented you are beautiful and wonderfully made for the men you're handsome you smell good you walk right you talk right you doing your thing okay don't let anybody make you feel like you are not enough and if they do reintroduce yourself take some time to be with yourself to look within and see what you need to fix within you and reintroduce them to the person that they cannot trigger the person that they cannot con the person who sees right through them because lo and behold a narcissist really gives you a special gift you just gotta look at everything for what it really is I must say this and I hope this doesn't sound bad oh there's no way for it not to sound bad a lot of narcissists are just what I'm gonna call ratchet they're just ratchet individuals so what happens is when they got with you they knew that you weren't ratchet they knew that you were naive to the stuff that they were doing because you didn't you were not in the environment that they were in growing up and they knew this and that's why they picked you because see somebody else who was real ratchet like them they might not have been able to deceive them the way they were able to deceive you so they took what was your kindness and what was your strength and they thought that they would drag you but where the buck stops is where you realize who they are and you knowingly and unapologetically accept who you are Y'all don't hear me. Y'all don't hear me. Y'all not ready. There is a big shift. And that narcissist going to start acting out and acting the whole fool when they realize that now you know who you are. Reintroduce them to who you are. I'm not saying you go up to them and say, this is who I am now. No, you reintroduce them when you don't react to the abuse. When you come up with a solution for every problem they throw at you. When, when um, your, your narcissist, let me, let me give you a little couple ideas. When the narcissist in your life won't give you your, your child or your children on their birthday when it's court ordered. And, you know, they start trying to manipulate the system. Have your baby more than one celebration. You were going to have them party, now celebrate them twice. Reintroduce yourself. You ain't at home crying. Okay, you're not at home crying about what the narcissist thinks they're taking from you. Like, oh, okay, well, we're going to have two celebrations then. Okay, start looking at everything different. I've told y'all before, the narcissist is my babysitter. Him and his side piece, the, the new supply, who, who now I could say is the old supply because she's been keeping my children since the beginning of 2017, and I still have never met her. Much love to you, sis. Mwah. <laughs> she is my nanny too you guys have to figure out a new way to think about it they try to torment you and terrorize you but once you figure out how to wrap your head around it you can reintroduce yourself you're not triggered you're not traumatized they want to get a reaction out of you because they want to hurt you and they're sadistic and they want to see if they can get a reaction out of you and they want to remain relevant and they also want to keep you stuck in their energy so if they were able to deceive you before and they were able to drag you and pull you now they think hey let me let me keep this person where I am let me see if I can pull them down I got them low let, let me let me tell y'all a little something I am not a uh, smoker my ex knew that I was not a smoker yet for Valentine's one year he bought this big old, big, huge bag of weed. 
and he said it was for me for Valentine's. Somebody asked me to do a video on gifts and the narcissist, so I'm gonna have to do that. He brings his bag home and says that it's for me. Who, who was that bag of weed for? Since I don't smoke, who was the bag of weed for? But what they do is they try to taint you, okay? They, I wasn't cussing, but you get with the narcissist, all of a sudden, you start <laughs> going to some new level. I have children. I have two sets of children, two older children and my two babies. And my two older children will tell you they never heard me cuss. It was not my thing, okay? But you get with the narcissist and all of a sudden they start pulling you down on to their level or attempting to get you vibrating like they're vibrating. So what I want to say to you is take some time, step back. Once you're removed from the narcissist, reintroduce yourself when you come up in the courtroom with a narcissist and they lying on you and they gonna lie on you you could it ain't nothing, no question about if they gonna lie they gonna lie okay if their mouth is opening and if it is shutting it is lying okay that's all they know how to do they're narking they're doing their job don't take it personal understand that they are doing their job and this is all that they're really good at by the way okay so just you know, ignore all the stuff that they're doing so that you can introduce yourself as the person who has class, as the person who, who has character, who has morals, okay? And go be your best self and reintroduce yourself. And like I said, I'm not talking about going in front of the narcissist. You're reintroducing yourself when you decide, hey, I'm not going to stay stuck here. I'm going to go on dates. 2022, baby, I'm going on some dates. I'm not staying stuck here. He could get the kids when he's supposed to, not get the kids when he... I got plan A, plan B, plan C, plan D. I'm going on some dates this year. You you get the kids or you can not get the kids. I got all kinds of plans. You guys get in that energy where, okay, I've known that the narcissist does that because they're easy to figure out. Once you know that you're dealing with one, their little playbook is so simple. They're very simple simpleton type of individuals they operate in simple toxic energy and since you're not on this toxic level with them you may not know everything they're going to do before they do it but once they do it to you once and then you see it twice three times is a pattern so don't wait for the third time once you've been with a narcissist for a while and you see them doing stuff especially if you're no longer with them and you know they're trying to punish you for whatever reason just go ahead and make a plan that puts you off into chasing after your dreams and chasing after your goals okay where they you're unstoppable baby that's what i'm trying to say you're unstoppable the only thing that can stop you is you don't let a narcissist stop you the only only person who can stop you is you they want to get a hold of your mind and the battle is in your mind so renew your mind start making affirmations those of you who go to church go to church read your scriptures do what you have to do to renew your mind so that you can move on and i'm gonna tell you there is nothing that makes a narcissist more sick to their stomach than knowing that you got away and even when they try to sabotage you just kept on going and that you're good everything is good over in your head <laughs> in your home let me not say it in your neighborhood in your home everything is good with you and that you're still moving forward and there they are stuck doing that same behavior over and over again and trying to figure out why they can't get ahead and here you are just shining just shining y'all go ahead on the shine okay love y'all i hope this has been encouraging to you bye bye my beautiful beautiful dark free family Mwah.